Someone asked me to balance this chemical equation, so let's give it a try. We'll use a bit of a trick to make this easier. So let's count the atoms up and then balance the equation. We have one potassium atom, and then this MnO4, this is the permanganate ion. We have it here and we have it here. So we have this on both sides. This is a polyatomic ion. We're gonna count it as one thing. So we have one of these permanganate ions. We have one zinc, two chlorine atoms. Product side, one permanganate times two. So we have two of those, one zinc and one chlorine. So you get the same answer either way. This is just a lot easier to work with. It's a lot clearer what we need to do. So I can see that I have one of the permanganate ions here and two of them here. So I'm gonna put a two here in front of the potassium permanganate. One times two, that'll give me two potassium atoms but the two also times this here, this permanganate ion, that'll give me two of those. Those are balanced. Now it looks like all I need to do is put a two in front of the KCl. One times two, that gives me two of those. They're balanced. One chlorine times two, two of those, and we're done. This equation is balanced. So this is a really useful technique, saves you a lot of time on exams and homework. You could have counted these separately and you would get the same coefficients. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for KMNO4 plus ZNCl2. Thanks for watching.